Hey folks, so I'm on the road and uh, taking a little break in between uh, some other project I'm working on. And I figured I'd uh, talk to you guys about this, uh, this tune that I need to work on just to keep it in shape, um, uh, you know, in case I ever have to perform. <laughs> Actually, I do. And so that's why I'm working on it. So um, this is a, one of the tunes from the record. It's a tune by Horace Silver. Horace Silver, and it's called Quicksilver. Um, and it's, uh, it's a little gnarly uh, in terms of uh, just being able to play it and the fingering and, you know. So let's see anything else about the tune. Oh, yes, it's, it's uh, based on the um, chord progressions of a tune. Um, now I can't remember the tune. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da, lover come back to me. Yeah, love her come back to me. Um, I, I may put some some uh, information uh, in the post uh, about the original song, but it was it's been done since I'm thinking the early 30s. Uh, it was written um, and uh, was done by a bunch of people through the decades. It's been done and redone. So then Horace Silver comes along and writes a contrafact, which is a fancy word for a new melody, on the same progression of the original tune, right? And uh, that's Quicksilver. So uh, I started it with the bridge, playing the bridge. Oh boy. And uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to take it a little bit slower. It's in F minor, the bridge is. Um, So that's that part, right? And then I move down here, yeah, even though you know I'm jumping around. But I move down here because of the clarity of the of the low notes of the melody on these lower strings, as opposed to here, right? That's a little muddy sounding to me. Yeah, it's because my action is what it is. But sorry. So I do have to move up, but there's plenty of time to to do it in the phrases of the in between phrases of the melody. So all together, let's see. Uh, uh. So that part is interesting because I don't believe I played it with that fingering this. It's really a lot easier for me to do it that way, but I don't remember it being that easy on the record when I when I played it um, for the recording. <laughs> so I think that fingering is something that I adjusted and kind of discovered subsequent to the recording and practicing. Uh, so such is life, you know. Keep living and learning, hopefully. So. Uh, let's see. Uh, everybody, we'll do then this gnarly part right here on this chord. What? I don't know how he heard that, how Horace Silver heard that on this B, B flat 7 chord. bridge and we started with the bridge on the recording uh, as a little intro and uh, I think that's all I'm gonna gonna do right now uh, I'll talk about the uh, the a sections because uh, they're you know, two a sections with actually three a sections the bulk of them being the same but then the endings of each one being different so I'll talk about that and um, in an installment on this tune, and then on in another installment I'll talk about the harmony because we did some uh, 
reimagining is that a good one yeah let's let's call it reimagining of the harmony <laughs> uh, uh deconstruction uh, uh yeah all of that so anyway i think it works and um that's all for now <laughs>